Peter O'Neill was flanked by the Australian Immigration Minister and other Australian officials at his conference room. He announced that renovations to the Manus Processing Centre are now complete and PNG is ready to take on the first load of asylum seekers. And uh, we understand that uh, uh, the facilities uh, on Manus are now being prepared by the Australian government uh, through their Defence Force and they are ready to take on uh, the, the, the asylum seekers as soon as possible. Mr Bowen said Australia welcomed PNG's acceptance as a regional partner in dealing with the asylum seeker issue. We have a process to go through in Australia, a parliamentary process uh, which we will pursue and then we can make those uh, transfers uh, uh, in the coming weeks. With questions arising over the breach of the Constitution under Section 42, which states everybody has a right to liberty, so a person cannot be detained until being charged, Mr O'Neill clarified that it was a processing centre and not a detention centre. You know, Manus Islanders have already stated that they are free to move around in the community as freely as possible. But uh, you must realise that there are... Uh, there, there are processes that need to be followed and we will uh, do our best to making sure that they are looked after in a, a most humane possible manner. The other issue also talked about during the meet was the issuing of Australian visas to Papua New Guineans. Over the years, many Papua New Guineans have complained that Australia is too strict on that matter and even on social network Facebook, there's been a page created just for the cause, but it looks like finally the issuing of visas to Papua New Guineans is going to be relaxed. I'm very pleased we'll be progressing further discussions on that in a very positive light. Uh, we are very good friends, very close neighbours with a good transfer of people between us and we need to make sure that the uh, visa relations between Papua New Guinea and Australia are first class. Meredith Kusa, National MTV News.